This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Faster than light neutrinos seen again by scientists. Few scientists are betting against Einstein just yet, but the phantom neutrinos of opera are still eluding explanation. Two months after scientists reported that they clocked subatomic particles known as neutrinos going faster than the speed of light to the astonishment and vocal disbelief of most of the world's physicists. The same group of scientists, known as OPERA, said that it had performed a second experiment that confirmed its first results and eliminated one possible explanation for how the experiment could have gone wrong. But the group admitted that many questions remain. This is not the end of the story, said the spokesman for the collaboration, explaining that physicists would not accept the result that neutrinos could go faster than light until other experiments had come up with the same conclusion. We are convinced, but that is not enough in science, he said. The speed of light was established as a cosmic speed limit in 1905 by Albert Einstein. Over the course of the last three years, neutrinos produced at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, and beamed underground to the Gran Sasso National Laboratory in Italy, an underground faculty some 450 miles away, arrived about 58 billionths of a second sooner than would a light beam. According to OPERA, the group is based at Gran Sasso. CERN is in Geneva. When these results were presented to a meeting at CERN in September, after a prairie fire of blog rumors, they were greeted by fierce skepticism. Among the problems with the original experiment, scientists said, was that the neutrinos were produced in bursts 10,000 billionths of a second long, much bigger than the discrepancy in arrival time. Last month, CERN retooled so that the neutrinos could be produced in shorter bursts, only 3 billionths of a second long, making it easier to match neutrinos at Gran Sasso with neutrinos at CERN, and the experiment was briefly repeated. The neutrinos still arrived early, about 62 billionths of a second early, in good agreement with the original result and negating the possibility, the opera team said, that the duration of the neutrino pulse had anything to do with the results. Physicists said the new results had answered some of the questions about the experiment, but many remain. For example, about how the clocks were synchronized between Geneva and Gran Sasso, and how the distance between them was ascertained or determined. So then, again, these neutrinos seem to be faster than light. In other words, the speed of light might not be the ultimate speed limit in the universe. And there could be particles or things that go faster than the speed of light. Not all things are known yet. There are still many things left to discover. This too is another sign of the times the end times, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary happenings, changes, and events, a time when knowledge is being greatly increased. Everything is connected, and everything is numbered. It's also called fate or destiny, because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations, and that is a very important question to ask. Again, Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. 4. And God saw the light, but it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. 6. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. 7. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. 8. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. 9. And God said, 
that the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. 10. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. 11. And God said, that the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. 12. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. 13. The evening and the morning were the third day. 14. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. 15. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. 16. And God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. 17. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. 18. And to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Also, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every human according as his work shall be. 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates and to the city. It's time for all these prophecies to be fulfilled, and all these things happening are more signs.